Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Margaret and welcome to Purple Frog. Today I'm going to be doing my manga collection. So without further ado, let's get into it. So starting off, the first series I have up here is Haikyuu. Haikyuu is a 45 volume sports series about team building, friendship, but mainly volleyball. I really enjoy this series. I have 44 of the 45 volumes, but I have 45 of them technically. I am just missing volume 19, but I have 19 in Japanese, so it gets reprinted next month. I'm looking forward to picking that up. Uh, yeah, this is a really great sports series. I highly recommend it. It's a very iconic series. On the shelf here, besides the manga, I have this little Hinata stand. And then I have a Kaita Shikishi board and a 2018 art book, which is really cool. This has a mini poster some stickers in the back and then just has some of the art which is really beautiful and the art from the series is pretty good considering how long the series is so moving from the that top shelf to this top shelf the next series i have on my shelf is hunter 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 is a currently ongoing series and i'm very excited since it is officially off of hiatus very much looking forward to uh this series I have volumes 1, 3, through 10, and then I have 14 and 15. This is a great series about action and adventure and also kind of figuring yourself out. I highly recommend this series, especially if you like other series like Yu Yu Hakusho, as this is done by the same mangaka. I just am so excited that it's coming back. It is a great series. It is a longer series with, I believe, 35 volumes that are currently out. Um, and yeah, I'm working on collecting the series. I'm getting there. I love the spines. They are so beautiful. I love how colorful they look. And overall, this is a very iconic anime. Just in general, I feel like this is definitely one of the more well-known series for anime and manga. The corresponding Hunter Hunter merch, I have to go with the Hunter Hunter manga. I have a Meruem and Komugi button that I got off of Bai, and then I have this super cute little Leorio figure up here. Going on to the next series, I have Spy Family Volumes 1 to 7, which is currently all that is out. It is an ongoing series, and I love this series so much. It is such a cute kind of slice of life, uh, kind of action series. It's a comedy as well, and it's just overall a great series. Um, yeah, so I also really like the spines, how they're really cohesive. I think they look great on the shelf. Um, my favorite character is definitely Anya. Anya is adorable. I hope to get some Anya merchandise. I'm really excited because they recently announced the Spy Family Nendoroids, which is a... I'm just so excited. They're so adorable. So yeah. Moving on to the last series I have on the shelf, it is Banana Fish. I have volumes 1 to 12, 15 and 19. This is a great kind of it's a grittier sadder series and it follows ag here yes this is such a great classic viz series um i absolutely adore the series i am working on collecting it and i have been for quite a while it's just a lot of the volumes are out of stock and i'm lucky enough to have all of these volumes so yeah there's also the original pulp editions for those who are interested in collecting those those are rare but i have seen them on um buy before so that is all cool. And then I also have some banana fish acrylic stands. I have volume one of the acrylic stands, of like the story acrylic stands. So that means I have Ash, AG, and another Ash. And then I also have this cafe shorter. So yeah, it's really cute. Moving on to the next series, I have Bleach. I have volumes one to 21, otherwise known as the first box set. Bleach is one of the big three and it is such a great action shonen series. It follows Ichigo, our main protagonist, as he kind of stumbles into this world of the Soul Society and the Soul Reapers. I really adore this series. I think it's like a very nostalgic series for a lot of people since it is a older series. Um, I, it's a very long series. It's completed like 75 volumes, I think. Uh, yeah, this is such a great series. I highly recommend the anime to anyone, and the manga is good, but those who are hesitant about collecting it, I recommend reading online first and then deciding if you want to get the manga. I think overall, the execution on this manga was beautifully done. On top of the manga here, I have the little travel guide that comes with the box set, 
it's just kind of like a character stats book kind of with just like some odd facts and stuff it's really cool i love the artwork the last series I have on the shelf is Fire Force. I have volumes 1 to 5. I love Fire Force so much. Um, I love the anime. The manga is really good as well. Fire Force kind of follows these firefighters, but the main character being Shinra, as the world kind of is dealing with this issue or this problem of spontaneous human combustion, where people are just all of a sudden turning into these flame monsters. Um, but at the same time, some humans have these fire powers i guess and there's different generations and shinra the main character can shoot fire out of his feet <laughs> it sounds so weird to say but it's a really good series i highly recommend it it is a, an ongoing series and i just really like the unique power system similar to bleach i just think it's really cool because there's not a lot of series that are based around firefighter so yeah i d i know it's a this is a kind of controversial series since a lot of people don't really like it, but I like it. I think it's a great series and I highly recommend it. It is also from the creator of Soul Eater. So if you like Soul Eater, then you'll probably like this series as well. For my like little things I have on this shelf that correlate to Fire Force, I have this really cute Joker acrylic stand. Like look how cute he is. Joker is one of my two favorite characters. My other favorite character clearly being Benny Mario. I love Benny Mario so much. I just love his character and just his overall disposition. So I have the scale figure done by Kotobukiya. If you guys want to see a figure collection, let me know. I'd be glad to do one since lately I've been getting into figure collecting. On to the next shelf, which is dedicated to one of my all-time favorite series, and that is Dr. Stone. Dr. Stone is currently ongoing with 20 two volumes. It's ongoing in English. It was capped out at 26 volumes in Japanese, so it's play kind of playing the catch-up game now, and I love this series so much. I love the very unique premise, and I also really like how there's not really a power system like there is in most uh, action series. I like how this series, it's literally so unique, and I just really love like the science elements. I find it very fascinating. And overall, this is such a good series. The artwork is stunning, like literally stunning. It is gorgeous. I love the main characters. My favorite character is Tsukasa, as you guys will see in a moment. And I just love how well thought out and well written the series is. The art, I cannot get over the art. And also the spines are beautiful on the shelf. And yeah, I just love this series so much. If you were to get one thing from this video, that is that you guys should read this series. Some of the first corresponding merchandise I have with this series that is on the shelf. I have these two really adorable acrylic stands. Um, like, look how cute they are. They're so cute. They're really tiny and they're kind of this chibi art style. So I think they're really adorable. Right next to my Dr. Stone manga, you see my like little Tsukasa shrine. You can see what I mean when I say he's my favorite character. I have this bromide in the back of him, and then I have these two buttons of him. This is like the pirate outfit, and then I'm destroying everything. And then we have this one, and then we have my Tsukasa scale figure, the pride and joy of my collection. I love him so much. Yeah, if you guys saw him in my last video, me unboxing him, I still am as obsessed with him as I was when I opened him. He is such a stunning figure, and I'm so excited that I have him in my collection. Now moving on to my LGBTQIA plus shelf. This is a kind of ongoing collection. I'm really working on expanding my collection here. But starting off, I have I Want to Be a Wall. I Want to Be a Wall is one volume so far, and it is such a great series. I cannot recommend it. It is such a great series for those that are kind of struggling with their sexuality, in my opinion, as it is this, like, really cute dynamic between the main character here, who is asexual, and she's getting married to this guy who is gay. So it's just such a great series. I really love, like, the unique concept, and it's always nice to see asexual representation in manga, since there is not a lot in media in general. Um, so it's always great to see some asexual representation. Going on to some of my Tokyo Pop series. Starting off, we have The God and the Flightless Messenger. This is such a cute one shot. I love it so much. It is this really cute relationship between this god and like this messenger. 
um yeah like look how tiny his wings are it's such a cute series as you can probably tell the artwork is beautiful um this is a really good series if you just want a wholesome cute read cannot recommend this enough the next series I have on my shelf is Dekoboko Sugar Days and the spinoff Dekoboko Bittersweet Days. I love this series so much. This is the main couple and you really get to see their relationship as they transition from being childhood best friends to kind of a couple and like lovers and stuff and it is such a cute series. I love the height difference, it is so adorable, and I overall just love like the super cutesy art style and just the cutesy theme as you can tell by the covers. My one con is that these spines are atrocious. Deck of Boca Bittersweet Days is better than this. Like this is so ugly, but you know, such a cute series, the covers make up for it. The next series we have here is Go For It Nakamura, which is a BL one shot. This is like one of the first series that I ever got in my collection. This is like one of the ever first volumes I ever got. It is a really cute series about this main character, Nakamura, who has a crush on his uh, classmates and kind of how he navigates that. It's really adorable. I am really excited because there's going to be a second spinoff volume coming or another volume coming. And I'm so excited because this is a very nostalgic volume for me and I just did not know there was going to be another one. The next series we have here is Seaside Stranger, which is an ongoing series and is currently three volumes long. Seaside Stranger is a really great uh, BL series about these two strangers that meet um, at the beach, and it's so, so cute. Um, I highly recommend it. It's just an adorable series. Um, it's pretty wholesome. This is I just love series like this. Like I, I just love them so much. And if you are looking for a BL series, this is definitely one of the ones I will recommend to you as it is nice that it is not a one shot because it seems like most BLs that are published in English tend to be one shots but this is a great series for those who want a wholesome series that is ongoing so highly recommend. The next series we have here is Classmates which is an ongoing series once again. There is four volumes, the main couple is in the first three volumes and then there's a side couple in the fourth volume. This series is kind of the developing relationship between these two main characters and as you can tell by the titles they are classmates um so yeah you kind of see this really free spirit and this kind of more conservative kind of um more like class president type of vibe uh, as they start to kind of develop a relationship it's really adorable i highly recommend the series the movie is also gorgeous i love the art style and i'm looking forward to the fifth volume coming out on the topic of classmates, I have yet to read volume 4, but I hear it is a pretty controversial volume, so I am interested to read the volume and see exactly why it is so controversial, because so far the series has been great, um, so yeah. The next series I have is another really cute, wholesome BL one-shot, and that is Our Dining Table. Our da Dining Table, as you can probably tell, is just like a really wholesome series. I highly recommend it. It's so cute. I love how there's a kid because I love kids and they're so cute in manga. They're like so tiny. So yeah, I just highly recommend this series. It's really adorable. If you want a cute BL one shot, highly recommend. It's so adorable. Next, I have his favorite volume two. I am working on getting this series. Um, his favorite. Um, this is interesting artwork, but it is... I haven't really read it, but I hear it's a really cute, wholesome series by Sublime. I binged all of Given, and I wanted some more wholesome Sublime series. Um, so his favorite was what I found, and they don't have volume one on stock. They do not have volume one in stock at the store I went to. So I am really excited to read this. It looks like a cute series. So yeah. The next series we have is one of my favorite BL series of all time, and it is Given. Given is an ongoing six-volume BL series that follows this these two high schoolers as they kind of join this band, or as the main character Mafu joins the band, kind of getting over past relationships and kind of just like overcoming trauma that they have experienced throughout their life. I really enjoy this series. It is such like it pulls at your heartstrings. Like, I binge the six volumes in one sitting. I cannot get enough of Given. I love it so much. I hope they make an androids or like figures because that'd be so cute. The anime is wonderful once again. I cannot recommend Given enough. Um, thank you to my friend who originally put me on to Given back when the anime was first airing. I just cannot recommend this series. Like, it is 
so good it is so good it is so wholesome in a sense um it's not really wholesome it's pretty sad but yeah it's really cute highly recommend it the next series we have is Lynx, which is done by the same mangaka as Given. Um, I have not read this yet, but it looks really adorable. I just already can see a lot of the resemblance between some of these characters here and Given characters. So that is really cute. Like, look how beautiful their artwork is. It's so beautiful. So yeah, this is a one-shot volume, and I believe it was written before Given was done. So it's very interesting to see uh, a lot of characters and kind of see how they were kind of formulated for Given. So yeah. On to some corresponding merchandise for Given. I have this really cute Uy Uyanoyama can badge. He's so cute. I just have him on this like little acrylic easel. Yeah, it's really cute. Love him. The last thing I have myself is this gorgeous saber scale figure done by Alter. I love her so much. She is so adorable. So yeah. Moving on to the next shelf, we have Hikaru no Go, which is a 23 volume sports series about Go. I feel like this is kind of a series that um, you guys know I tend to talk about a lot as I literally preach this series. I love it so much. Um, yeah, if you guys like Go, this is a great series, but if you like Haikyuu and um, series similar to that where you kind of see the transition of these uh, this group of kids going from kind of teen years to or like adolescence to adulthood then this is a great series for you um the volumes are pretty okay to find you can find them on mercari and stuff i guess the hardest volume to find would be volume seven as it is just like i don't know why it's just harder to find but yes yeah, it's such a great series um the art is wonderful as it is done by takashi obata the same mangaka of uh platinum end death note and um Bakuman. So if you guys like those series, then this is such a good series. I literally, such a beautiful series. Highly recommend. I think everyone should check it out. The last series I have on this shelf is Aisho 21. Aisho 21 is a 37 volume long sports series about football. I believe this was in my manga recommendations video, so that just tells you how much I enjoy this series. Aisho 21 is a harder series to find for some volumes more so than like Hikaru no Go, for example, but it is such a great series. I love the comedy aspects of it as their comedy is like one of the key components. It is like a sports slash comedy series. If you want some good comedy, this is a great series to go to, some good 2000s comedy. Um, yeah, I just also really love the unique uh, sports aspect of it. It is kind of a zero to hero uh, type of a story. So if you enjoy that, then that's just another reason to check this series out. I have volumes 2, 5 through 11, 13, 17, and 18, and I look forward to continuing this series. On to the next shelf, I apologize about the like dark lighting as this is pretty close to the floor, but the first series I have is Kudocha or Kudoma no Omocha, some people know it. This is such a beautiful series, it is 10 volumes long, completed, and is insanely out of print. It's just been getting harder and harder to find. I have uh, five of the volumes, I've and um, going with corresponding merchandise, I have this really adorable Sana Karada acrylic stand. Um, she is so cute. I was so excited when I found out they had official like acrylic stands because it is so hard to find Kurocha merch. So I got her. She's so cute. Um, I am looking forward to getting the Akito one at some point. The next series I have here is Basara. Basara was in my manga recommendations video once again. This is a 27 volume shoujo series that is also an action series. I highly recommend this series if you like series like Yona of the Dawn, as this is kind of like the precursor to that in my opinion. I just really love the strong female lead and kind of how she goes on an adventure. I think it's really cool to see a strong female lead in manga since it seems like if you want a strong female lead, most of the female leads are in, like the stronger female leads are in manhwa, so it's always great to see um, some in manga, especially if it's like as old and classic as manga as this. I love the unique world building since this world is very cool and very diverse from a lot of other series you see. I just cannot get over this series. It's kind of a historical series. Um, but yeah, if you want a really cool series, this is definitely one to check out. I read the scans online before I picked up the manga, since the manga can be pretty hard to find. Um, so I recommend checking it out online. There is no anime, sadly, but this is just such a beautiful series. You guys have to read it. 
Going on to the next series I have, I have volumes one to three of Cheeky Brat. Cheeky Brat is an ongoing series in English. I love this series so much. I read these scans online way back, like a years ago, and this was such an adorable series. I loved it, and when they announced that they were going to be printing in English, I freaked out because I love it so much. I really wanted an adorable series with an adorable relationship. This is definitely one to check out. On to some of my more oversized volumes. I have A Sign of Affection, Volumes 1 to 4, which is currently all that is out. This is an ongoing series that is about the main couple. It is a romance series, and it takes place during their college years, which I think is really cool since a lot of manga and anime series do not take place during college. It's more high school. So I think this is a great series for people that are kind of in college and just like an older audience. This is such an adorable series. It is really wholesome and the main character is deaf, which is really cool. I love to see representation of characters. Um, so yeah, this is just a really cute series. The art is beautiful. Like literally like look at the spines, look at the cover. It's so beautiful. The story is beautiful. I just cannot recommend this series enough. It is so cute if you want a really adorable romance series. The next series here I have is Blue Flag. Blue Flag is an eight volume uh, series. It's, it's not really a shoujo series. I mean, I guess it is a shoujo series since it is targeted at a female demographic, at least from what I've seen or I assume. For all, Blue Flag is such a great series. Definitely has you laughing at times and crying at others. Um, the artwork is beautiful, as you can literally tell by this cover. I have the first four volumes, and I just love the series so much. So cute. I love the re I love the relationships. The ending was a little bit rushed, in my opinion, but overall, adorable series. The next series we have isn't really a manga, as it is a novel, and it is The Scum Villain Self-Saving System. It is an MXTX novel. Then the last volume I have, the last series I have on this shelf is Blue Period, Blue Period. Blue Period is an ongoing six volume series that follows this main character um, here and it's all about art and I love art so it's really cool to see a manga about art. One thing I think is also really nice is that you see the main character and a whole bunch of the side characters kind of figure out who they are and it's really the stage of their life where they're going to high school going into college and the main character doesn't really know what he wants to do in his life and it's kind of all about him figuring that out and that's really relatable to me because I'm at that stage in my life too and I don't know what I want to pursue in the future um, in terms of academically so this is a really good series that's very relatable and I highly recommend the series it's wonderful I have not watched the anime so I don't know if that is good or not but the manga is gorgeous Going on to my next shelf here, we have Hell's Paradise, volumes 1 to 13 complete. Hell's Paradise is a great dark seinen series, 13 volumes, so if you want a good dark seinen action series, I would go with this because it is a really good kind of grittier series, but it is also a shorter manga series, relatively shorter for action series, since action series tend to be like 20 plus volumes. So seeing one that is only 13 volumes, it's a nice refreshing, it's very refreshing, so yeah. Next, we have Chainsaw Man, volumes 1 to 10. Um, this series is 11 volumes long. 11, volume 11 is out. I just need to go get it. It's a really cool series. Um, I just think the character is really cool. My favorite character is Denji. Yeah. Going on to the last series I have on the shelf, I have Jujutsu Kaisen. Jujutsu Kaisen is an ongoing series, and it is. I have volumes 0 to 15, which is currently, I believe... I don't know if 16 is out yet or not, but I have maybe all the volumes. I really enjoy this series. It's about curses here, which is really cool. It's just kind of like character stats and whatnot. Um, so that's really neat. It has uh, Yuji and Tsukuma on the cover. And then I kind of like Yuji, as you guys can tell, just, just a little bit. I have this Yuji figure from Target. And then I, my goodness. Then I also have his Nendroid and then like a little plush. So that's really cute. Okay guys, so this is the bottom shelf um, on my manga shelves, my manga bookcase. I apologize for the poor lighting and the poor angle. This is literally as far down as my tripod would go. Um, but we have GTO uh, volumes 1 to 12, 14 to 17, and 20 to 24. I'm missing like three or four volumes. Um, I love this series. It is a great uh, comedy um, yeah, this is a great series done by Tokyo Pop or published by Tokyo Pop. 
Um, it's 25 volumes long. I was able to get this series from Facebook Marketplace for $50, which is a crazy deal since this is a rare series and does tend to cost more since it is an extremely out of print series. But yeah, the last series I have on the shelf is Initial D. Um, some of my volumes are severely warped, but Initial D is a great um, sports series. I guess you'd call it sports. It's basically about street racing, but this is like my number one series. And I just love, like, the issues it um, covers and just such a cool series. Going on to the next shelf, we have JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 2 um, Complete at four volumes. I love JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, in case you guys did not know. I have so much merchandise. I love it so much. And the Part 2 is my favorite part. Uh... I would have more of the manga, it's just they're really big and they take up a lot of shelf space and they're really expensive. But it's just a really cool series and it's very bizarre as the title says, so it's really cool to see kind of this idea since there are literally no ideas like this and Araki is just such a great author, like literally I love his stuff so much. Going on to the next series here, we have Kaiji, Volumes 1 and 2, Gaka's work, but my favorite series done by them, which is Akagi was not published in English, so I went with Kaiji since it is the only other, is like the only work that they did that was published in English to my knowledge. Um, yeah, I just really love this mangaka. They do great gambling series and I love to read and watch gambling series. Go watch Akagi, please. It is so good. Um, yeah, it's about like a teenage gambler. It's really cool. I just love to see kind of a uh, psychological series where it's all about like brain power so yeah, I think they're really cool. The next series I have here is actually a manhwa and it is volume one of Solo Leveling. The next series we have here is Kaiju number eight. Kaiju number eight is a great ongoing shonen series that is kind of, in my opinion, the ongoing shonen series right now. I love how the main character is in his 30s since a lot of shonen series and just series in general tend to focus on people in their early 20s to teens mainly. So it's really cool to see a main character that is in their 30s. Then we have Mao, done by the wonderful Rumiko Takahashi. I love Rumiko Takahashi so much. Uh, Mao was in my manga recommendations video. Um, but I really like how this is kind of takes place in Japan in the early 1900s, since that is a time period that is not really covered in a lot of media. So yeah. The next series I have here is Tokyo Avengers. I have a whole bunch of the random volumes in Japanese. I'm so excited for the English release. I have some acrylic stands here. I have Kazutora. I have Mitsuya. I have this really cool like beach Takamichi. So cute. And then I also have this like little Mitsuya figure from like a little gachapon. He's so cute and tiny. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!